So this is going to be a review for Superboy issue number 9 written by Jeff Lemire with artwork by Pierre Gallo and uh, just take a quick look at this cover looks really nice um, so yeah finally things get a move on this series uh, so Connor Superboy Psionic Lad, Simon, and Phantom Stranger last issue headed down into Hollowville a secret underground town that uh, that's existed below Smallville for as long as Smallville's been around and uh, in this issue they, they really go in, in and explore um, everything that Jeff Lemire has been building up since issue one uh, of this series is really pretty much revealed in this issue um, finally <laughs> um, this doesn't really feel like a straight up superhero book it feels a little bit more along the lines of his darker work for example Sweet Tooth that's what he's most known for uh, it has a really um, has a darker feel to it and uh, yeah <laughs> but uh, I really like it for that reason um, yeah I, I still don't like Psionic Lad however and I still don't think the art is amazing it is improving though and uh, actually really like the colors in this um, they're not perfect but uh, I, I think they they fit really really well with the uh, with Pierre Gallo's pencils colors and inking are nice so uh, yeah however yeah the, the, again the cover art is definitely better than the interiors in my opinion but if you've been reading this series from issue one uh, I was really excited for that very first issue I loved that very first issue uh, then it kind of went downhill from issue two for me um, but this issue really pays off if you stuck around since issue one um, I, I would say that this issue is actually really good and worth if you drop this book pick this up uh, and I think it's really worth going back and uh, reading everything that came before this because this was really good in my opinion and I've been really critical of this series since issue 2 um, I didn't really think there was much redeeming to be done uh, on the series I didn't, I didn't think Jeff Lemire could pull it off that's what I get for doubting him uh, but yeah, th this really surprised me in a good way. I love this issue so far. The best issue this series has. And, uh, yeah, I was really blown away. I was expecting something far below the quality of this, and I was shocked. So, uh, 4 out of 5. Definitely pick it up. I really, really love this, and I can't wait to see where it's going to go next issue, because... That ending, <laughs> I, I I liked it. That that's that's really all I can say. So, uh, yeah, four out of five. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about about it. And thanks for watching.